Hey guys, Jim Nix, nomadicpursuits.com. Hope you're having a good day. I've just got a quick tip for you today. Um, I mess around with a lot of presets and I mess around with masks and all that kind of stuff. And everybody knows about applying presets. You can just go click on presets. I'm in my Cityscapes uh, preset pack. And let's say I come over here and let's say I like this, uh, this glittering prizes. You click on it, it applies. Everybody knows that, right? So that's not exactly news. And by the way, I like it, but I like it at about like that. But here's the thing. Um, I only really like it on the top of the photo. I don't really like it on the bottom of the photo. So you probably know that you can grab the masking brush and paint it in. But did you know you could grab like the gradient mask, for example, and just go like this and just drop a gradient on there and apply the, uh, the preset just to the portion of the photo that the gradient's applied to, which I'm kind of sort of fixing right now. So there you go. Um, so there it is. I like something else on the bottom. So let's say I want to do the reverse and just use a different preset on the bottom of the photo. Add a new layer, new adjustment layer. And I'm going to come over here and I've got this one called Old Red. I kind of like how the bottom is faded out. It sort of mirrors to me the light that comes through the ceiling. Um, but again, I want to grab the gradient mask. This time I want to go from the bottom up. I just want to stick it down there. And again, just sort of figure out where you want this to apply and adjust accordingly, straighten it if you need to, and hit apply. And there you go. I've basically just used the gradient mask to apply one preset to the top of the photo, another preset to the bottom of the photo, and on the, the top of the photo, I actually adjusted the opacity of the preset, and the bottom, I just left it at 100%. But that's a quick and easy way to sort of blend things together. Let me uh, full screen this and show you the before and after. There's the before, and there's the after. It's kind of a, a brighter, kind of warm sort of look, which is what I was going for. And I think the preset uh, old red that I have in my Cityscape pack works really well on the bottom here to sort of brighten that up. Whereas on the top, I like the uh, the other one, the, I think it was called Glittering Prizes. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick tip. Use gradient mask. You can also use radio mask and brush. You can do whatever you like. But there's a lot of ways to apply edits in Luminar Neptune. And that's one way. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know and see you next time. Thanks. Adios.